when it's come to protecting the crystals in this game, we haven't done very well. Of course, we started this game by stealing a crystal, but now we may have our best chance to actually protect one. There's no hostage exchange, there's no threat, there's no war going on. We get the best opportunity to finally do a legitimate protection of a crystal in this game. Now let's see if we can actually do it. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here in Before Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. So last time we started um, to come back here to the area around the Dwarven Castle after we tried to get our hands on the crystals that Golbez stole, but it turns out he was a step ahead of us and he had a trap door set up that we could not get access to them, unfortunately. So now, we are trying to get the Dwarf King to help us, which he did, and he gave us a key to a place called the Sealed Cave, home to the final Dark Crystal. And now, it's up to us to see if we can actually get our hands on it. So, let's make our way there right now. We made, to ma we made sure that we were protected, or at least prepared well enough for what we're about to do. Now it's up to us to actually see if we can accomplish what we seek. Let's go inside the sealed cave. So, since this cave is sealed, we were given a key by the, um, by the king of the dwarves, Giot, from his daughter Luca. Epilepsy! And there we go. We get to go inside. And so now begins a very long journey, because there's a lot of stuff that we're going to have to do. We can climb these ropes. And we can also go through a lot of doors. You'll see a lot of these doors that lead to alternate paths. Which we're going to need to take, except behind every door is a trap. And by trap, we mean one of these things. And these are some of the toughest enemies you have seen so far. And you'll see why, because when this guy casts Disrupt, POW! Instant death. So, before you come in here, make sure you brought with you a ton of life potions. Because you are going to need every single one of them. You're gonna need every single one of them if you want to stay in a chance. And if you don't, you're in big trouble. Yeah, you can use Rosa. But it does take a while to, of course, get to her turn. And now, speaking of Rosa, she's dead too. Ah, oh, that's inconvenient means the experience gets split among the other four. Does he still have a life? No, she, he doesn't have life power yet. So yeah, for now we're gonna have to rely on life potions. I'll try and use her ability as a white mage as much as possible to try and revive people, but yeah, for the most part, this is what you can experience when you're down here. And it sucks. Yeah, that's why I came in with as many life potions as I did, because I knew this was going to happen. And it's really unfortunate, but... Oh, I never went in that door, did I? Ugh. Yeah, you can go in the doors once you've defeated them all. And yeah, there's some treasure in here. Now for some normal monsters, a pair of huge Naga who surprised me. And let's cut these Naga down. As soon as they stop getting so many jumps on me. Let's cast a little fire too to give them a hard time. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. A thousand points. Come on, Radia. Or maybe Edge will get it. Yeah, Edge gets it off first. Okay, so in here, an ether on this side. And then on the opposite side, a long sword for Edge. So this will replace the middle sword, or the short sword he had equipped. And we can continue on. Alright, now we can go over here. Alright, where bats? Yeah, these guys are not anything special other than the fact that they do have the vampire ability like other bats before them have. We just have to cut them down as much as we can. Go to the skies there, Kane. And then we'll see if we can kill the rest of them off as quickly as we can. Yeah, 2,500 points from Kane. Yeah, we're killing things off so quickly, Rydia is not even getting a chance to get off her spells. But Edge did, get, did gain a level there. Alright, now we can climb this rope. And take on... So yeah, I'll show off the, a couple of these battles and then we'll just skip the rest of them. But yeah, suffice it to say, there are many of these fights, and Cecil is knocked out. Actually, I'm gonna go and keep fighting here. I'm waiting until it gets to Rose's turn. And then she can revive Cecil. There we go. Yeah, there's no point in healing here, just because of the fact that this trapdoor is such a troll. Twelve hundred. There we go. All players intact this time. And Rosa gains a level and earns the wall ability. Yeah, there we go. Might as well use a cure too as well. Yeah, I did stock up on those as well for a reason. Oh, go in the door. Go in the door. Yeah, and now there's even more doors. Yeah, now there's even more of these doors over here. So yeah, once again, yeah, get used to seeing this. Okay, yeah, sometimes if you leave a trapdoor alive long enough, it'll actually summon a manta core that I healed. Oh boy, this is not good. Yeah, I gave a little love to Rydia, but I should be giving love to everyone here. Yeah, we've got a freaking manta core on the field. And no point in using a magical spell. Yeah, we better kill this thing off as quickly as we can. But yeah, that can happen sometimes, is that if left alive too long, the trapdoor can change into a manticore. But as you saw, it does have a benefit if you leave it alive long enough, and it turns into... Uh, something that gives more experience points. 
but you really want to um, play it safe and just fight as best as you can to quick kill it as quickly as possible. And sometimes they'll have doors that don't have anything and the reward is just the experience that you get. And Edge and Rydia both gain levels after that battle. Okay, and since Rydia is the one who died, might as well give her the healing. Alright. Use that ether. And then, I'm gonna continue downward. So, there are some ropes that you can use and some you can't. That rope on the right takes you nowhere and Cecil just automatically climbs back up it. So there's no point in climbing down a rope that has no continuation to it. Even though it may look like it's going down further, no rope does that. We found a light potion over there. And now it's time for many, many doors. Count with me, because you're going to see a lot of them, starting with one. Go in here. There's nothing. Give Rosa the healing, because she's the one who bit the boat there. And we go on. Two. And Cecil, Kane, and Edge all gain levels. Now, I know what you're thinking, why don't I not bother healing, because you never know when you're going to get a random encounter. Still got to be wary of those possibly happening in between door openings. And three... Alright, and here we do have a path that contains treasure. Ninja stars. An elixir. Ooh, fun with vampire ladies. I do think we want to focus our attention on you. In fact, I also will want to, as well, possibly keep Radia alive. Yeah, I did mention just a moment ago trying to keep myself alive with Radia. Let's cure three for everyone. Just because I can. Yeah, we really want to get rid of that vampire lady. And all of her bats, for that matter. Oh, that didn't do much. Then again, the damage is being split among seven enemies. So this really shouldn't surprise anyone, honestly. Yeah, she's taking a lot more damage than I remember. She's taking a lot more damage than I remember, but I finally got her. And let's go this way with some fire. But I'm going to actually, n um, sure. I need, I need people to be faster, as far as attacking stuff. And you know what I should be doing in this case? I should be using some of Edge's ninjutsu, too. I should be doing that also. Alright, Kane takes to the skies. Yeah, ninjutsu! As more and more vampiring goes on. Yeah, it does it does obviously take a while to get through seven enemies. It does take quite a while. There we go. That takes care of them. And Radia gained a level and learns drain. And we got a cure two potion. Alright. Now over this way, get the last treasure chest. 5,000 gold. There we go. 
Okay, let's get out of this chamber. Did I see what was in here yet? I think I may have forgotten to look in here. Yep, I did. Light sword! Yes, this is something that's very important, especially considering where we are. And yeah, as you can see, jumps up Cecil's attack quite a bit. Yeah, this will actually help me a lot more than the elemental swords that I'm currently using. And four... And Edge and Rosa both gain levels after that battle. Nothing in this chamber. So go ahead and have Rosa cure two again. This time to Edge. Yeah, you can gain a lot of levels in this place and it really helps. Okay, and five. And Cecil and Kane both gain levels after that battle. Alright, save point, but we're not going to use it just yet, because we can open some more doors. And six? Alright, so now in this door... And Rydia gained a level after that battle. Go ahead and continue to heal everyone. And then we'll go ahead and get another long sword for Edge. And a ninja helmet for him, too. There we go. Alright, longsword and ninja helmets. That'll definitely help him out. Okay, so now let's make our way over here. For those of you wondering, um, we can climb down that ladder, or rope rather, but we're gonna save it for next time. Plus, there's also more stuff on the left I want to show off. So, we're gonna go ahead. We're not gonna use a tent here, given where we are. We're going to make use of a cabin. Because we need a full restore of our stuff. Yeah, tent ain't gonna cut it around here. Let's go ahead and take our save. And for those of you who are wondering what was in that one item chest that I walked past in the previous episode, um, it was a Cure 2 potion. So, turns out it's not that big of a deal that I missed it. And just in case you're wondering, um, that was what was in there. But, yeah, now that we've made our way further into this sealed cave and been killed off by so many of these trap doors, we'll move on to our next episode and hopefully kill off some more. Because, yeah, we are not done with them yet. Not even close. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. And when I join you again, we will take down more of these doors and manticores if they spawn to continue our pursuit of protecting the final crystal. So until next time, everyone, this is Matthew with Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.